Hi everybody, Simon here again. Solomon's Tales, episode whatever. We left it, Ning and Solomon had arranged to meet at a bar on Beach Road in Patea. Roughly in the middle somewhere there was a load of these little bars all facing one next to the road and then the beach on the other side of the road. Solomon turned up, found the bar um, and blow me down. He sits at the bar, orders a drink and on the side of the bar is his ex-girlfriend. Now this was the girl that he started seeing before he went back to the UK then found out she was got other fellas and they broke up. Now I can't remember what name I gave her. <laughs> I think it was a K. Oh, so many characters on my videos now I'm losing track of names let's call her Kay and he sat down and there's Kay she spots him she's with a guy she spots him and it looks really awkward um, but sort of smiles and ignores him <laughs> and it becomes apparent within a few minutes from people talking in the bar that Kay is working in that bar so now Solomon knows where she's working he wants that conversation with her you know he found out by emails that she had lots of fellas and they were all sending her money and she was juggling guys left right and center uh, he wants that conversation he wants to have it out with her because she sort of twanged his heartstrings a bit she's a great looking girl really nice girl but so quite devious anyway she's with a guy she's talking so he's like mm, yeah, okay he sat right on the front with a pavement behind him and he starts looking around and then he looks to his whichever direction and there's Ning walking along now this um, is late afternoon four o'clock ish the long walks in heels on tight fitting jeans white blouse with glasses now whether they're real glasses or reading glasses but with glasses a bit of a secretary look hair down with the heels she's about five foot eight absolutely stunning Every guy around is looking and watching. She walks up, says hi to Solomon, sits down. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Solomon orders a drink and they start chatting. Now he immediately, I don't know why, starts explaining to her that the girl he was with at Cabbages and Condoms, Frozen, was just a friend and they were good friends play pool together and they kick around why did he have to explain himself and then again explaining himself to her he explained about his previous only girlfriend in Thailand who was sat on the bar and it didn't directly point but Ning was sat next to her looking almost at Kay and explained what happened and Ning sort of, oh, this is a bit awkward then, isn't it? Great English. Now, it turns out Ning was, she's saying she's 19. Now, she looks a bit older, if anything. Um, but, oh, stunning. Model. She could be a model. As she said, this is a bit awkward. Let's, um, let's go and get some food. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, Simon pays the bill, looks at Kay again, gives her a bit of a dirty look. And they walk off, heading towards sort of walking street and there's some restaurants on the front. Some pretty ones they have, little candles on the table and stuff. It was probably getting on for five o'clock. And they're heading to just one of those restaurants, sit down, nice tables with uh, tablecloths on and uh, yeah, nice. Order some food, Thai food, both of them, and they've got chatting. 
bit strange how Solomon was sort of explaining himself and clearing his table with Ning, but knowing that Ning's got a boyfriend. And he then broaches the, the subject. And she says, well, um, we sort of have fallen out. She said, I had a, was living in Krabi and I had a motorcycle that um, I, no, Solomon thought it was rented, but the golfing guy had bought her this bike. She said, we sort of fell out and I had to pack up and I sold the bike, which broke my heart. Um, and she said, we, we fell out and broke up. And I came up here because I've got friends up here and I've been here many times. And Solomon says, well, are you working in a in a, any establishment? Very careful with his words. She says, no, um, this guy, we, we got back together and he sending me money but wouldn't buy me another bike couldn't afford to so we keep breaking up and getting together and breaking up she said um, I'm sharing a room with a couple of other girls who work in bars um, and I just rent bikes when I've got some spare money she said but I don't work I was like, Whoa, okay it sounds like it could be expensive <laughs> getting involved with this girl not working but he said, well, but she's stunning, beautiful. And he said to her, why did you give me your phone number? He's straight to the point. Where, and she said, well, we sort of, we hit it off and you were very, you know, you were a gentleman and nice and, and crabby and, no, well, she said, you're a nice guy. And he's like, hmm, that's what he wanted to hear. He, uh, he says to Nink, I've come back over for, I'm gonna travel around for a year. Um, my intentions is to stay here for two months. Um, and then I'm gonna go off a bit of a wander, which is in a couple of weeks time, um, two or three weeks time. But here I've been playing pool and getting quite lucky and winning a little bit of money, which has been financing me. Um, and things like, mm, I don't play pool, but that's good, really good, you know. She said, where are you gonna go? And he said, well, I was going to go and have a look around Cambodia next. Um, I see what's what. And she said, how are you going to get around? And he said, well, I don't really know. I've, I've looked at maps and things. I'll probably just go over the border. Um, and maybe I'll buy just a little cheap scooter and try and ride it round. Or, or maybe I'll, whatever, public transport around. Not sure, he said. But I fancied maybe doing Cambodia for a month um, and then on to Vietnam or I'll do Cambodia for a bit and come back into Thailand and she's like hmm that sounds good she said I'd like an expedition like that <laughs> oh okay and she said uh, I've, I've been to Cambodia a couple of times and I have a passport and I can get into Cambodia and but I've never ridden a bike around Cambodia. And then Solomon says, but, but you love the big sports bikes. You'd hate a little, one of these 125 scooters. She goes, no, it's just any motorbike, I love it. Oh, okay. And that's like, he, the cogs are sort of there going and he's like, okay. But they're just, this is only sort of second time they've chatted and Anyway, they have this meal, and uh, Ning says, uh, should we go and get a few drinks? Maybe get a bit drunk. She said, I feel like there's in my head, I'm not cheesed off with that guy, and see how we get on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As if you could say no to such a beautiful 19-year-old woman, who literally, everywhere she goes, the guys are just staring. And Solomon says this to her, have you noticed all the guys are looking at you, you know, all the time? And she says, yes, <laughs> but doesn't say anything else. Anyway, off they go. Where should we go? Walking Street, she says. Oh dear. Go, go, Bob. Yeah. And that evening, so for the next three or four hours, they go around go-go bars, beer bars, all around Walking Street, and it's still early evening. By about nine o'clock, they've had quite a few drinks. 
and Ning says, oh, I'm getting a bit tired, let's head off. And Solomon's thinking, well, where are we going to head off to? He says, you know, um, his bike somewhere down Beach Road. <laughs> he just dumped it there. And he says, well, my bike's back at that first bar. Um, have you got a bike at the moment? And she's like, no, I haven't. Uh, she says, but, well, go and get your bike and you can give me a lift back to my room. Okay, and he's been drinking, so he's not drunk, but he's merry. Not a good idea riding the bike when you've been drinking. Should not do it. But, there we go. Walked along, got a bit of fresh air, walked along, halfway along Beach Road. Found the bike, located it. He hadn't got his helmet um, on the bike. Don't know why, it should be under the seat, but it's not there. Obviously left it at the room. So no helmets means going up all the little streets and alleyways to avoid any police stops because in the evening there's quite a few around so jumps on she gets on the back she says where are you, you know, where's your room uh, it's up sort of, again sort of third roadway so she directs him and he goes up all these alleyways and gets up to her room it's not far from his it's on the same back lane and he says to her, oh, my place is only down that lane, up the road there. And she says, will you wait here a minute? And he's like, uh, okay. And he's thinking, what, are you going to go in and get some money and give me some money or something and tip me? <laughs> uh, in she goes. Um, she comes back out with a rucksack. And he's like, What's this? We're going to take your laundry to the shop or something now? <laughs> Can they use me as a taxi? Anyway, throws a rucksack on her back, jumps on the back of the bike, says, Right, your place. Yeah, what? <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, Psh, what can I say? Solomon is just like, Ooh, okay. Heads down this windy lane, off to his place into the car park, parks the bike, gets off, turns around and it's just not his day, I'll tell you. First he sees that K, gets off the bike and there's Frozen. <laughs> and she's like, hi, and she comes over. Anyway, Simon introduces Frozen um, to Ning and he's just about to in introduce Ning to Frozen and Frozen went, you're that girl from the Cabbages and Condoms. She and she just laughed and they, yeah. Anyway, Frozen was fine, you know, she wasn't Solomon's girlfriend, just a mate. And Solomon's like, feeling a bit awkward. What a day. Anyway, Frozen then walked off, said see you tomorrow, probably, or whatever, catch ya. Ning, Solomon. Um, yeah, let's just say, that Solomon had um, a very good sleep that night. Very good, very good uh, relaxing sleep in... Here we go, great night. <laughs> in the morning, comes down on his own, leaves Ning in the room, goes down to the cafe downstairs, grabs his usual couple of uh, bits of toast and coffee. Anyway, he gets another coffee. When he's finished, takes it up for Ning, gives her a coffee. Um, and, well, some more things happen and uh, Solomon's uh, having a really nice time. Ning's a, 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 an amazing woman. Solomon's not sure if she's still got the boyfriend or not. She's saying not, so. Yeah, his first encounter on his, uh, really his first encounter with a young lady on this year trip. So, that's a coincidence that he bumps into Ning in Patea that he'd met in Krabby. And he got frozen as a good friend, then he'd seen the ex-girlfriend Kay Oh dear, a lot happening in a couple of days, but all good.
All good. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. Um, Solomon's got to start thinking about, you know, his visas. He's got his extension. He's on his tourist visa, so he's had his 30 days. He's got his 30 day extension. A couple of weeks left. He's going to have to leave the country. Room will be up soon, and the bike will be up soon. So he's got to start making some plans of what he wants to do. And then a woman comes along and complicates things, eh? Just the way. Always the way. Best laid plans. Anyway, I'll catch you soon. Thumbs up. Hit that button for me. Subscribe. Share. Tell your friends. Back to the channel. And uh, any questions, drop them in below. See you soon. Bye-bye.